Indonesia is making a mega shift. And how? As Jakarta, its overpopulated, polluted capital sinks. A new, sustainable, and green capital city, Nusantara, is carved out from scratch in the middle of the world's oldest stretch of jungle in world's third largest island. Bahwa tidak kalau pengertian tidak merusak lingkungan tidak disentuh sama sekali dan ini mungkin yang yang berbeda. Ya bisa saja ada daerah yang uh, kita sentuh tapi secara uh, apa namanya presentasi dia tidak merusak signifikan lingkungan. Set to be Indonesia's political center by late 2024. Initial projects include a parliament, workers' homes, a dam, a grand mosque, and a presidential palace, shaped as the towering mythical bird Garuda. The project will cost 30 billion US dollars, with taxpayer money expected to cover about 20%, according to a government estimate. The architects in charge of the new city insist that the project is sustainable and will cause minimum changes to the environment. But here we end up with a city that needs to be following the contour because we have this principle we don't want to destroy uh, the, the natural condition, minimum changes to the environment. We want to uh, maintain the consistency of the sustainability, but it works in different scale. So what we have in our, um, in our guidelines is all the building, especially key buildings or government building, needs to be green, green building. It needs to be sensitive to the environment, it needs to use local material as much as possible. Not everyone believes so. Deforestation has already begun in one of the world's largest and oldest stretches of tropical rainforest, estimated to be more than 100 million years old causing severe damage to the flora and fauna or the area. Bahwa Kalimantan ini unik dengan uh, habitat-habitat aslinya. Tentu kalau ini mangrupnya habis, kita hanya bisa meninggalkan ceritanya saja binatang endemik yang ada di Kalimantan. Tidak tahu ceritanya lagi kepada generasi yang akan datang hanya mendengarkan ceritanya aja namanya bukatan karena kalau apabila mangrupnya punah binatang endemiknya juga akan hilang seperti itu kalau kita di, tidak difilter lautnya akan mempengaruhi kepada biota-biota uh, yang ada di laut kalau biota lautnya ini sudah terpengaruh ya habitat-habitat aslinya ini akan berubah juga nanti mungkin juga akan pengaruh kepada perkembangan nelayan yang akan mencari while there is no doubt that designing a sustainable and green capital city from scratch in the middle of the world's oldest stretch of jungle is a daunting task, the question is whether it will achieve the success its creators are aiming for. Will it relieve congestion in Jakarta? Will it make whoever is left behind in Jakarta get to live a bit better? Well, I don't think so because the projection and correct me if I'm wrong, is for the new capital to have about a million people, so to keep it sort of small by, by Indonesian standards, to keep it into a small city. But that hardly makes a dent in the um, Jakarta. The island that Indonesians call the lungs of the world. Shared with Malaysia and Brunei, is home to long-nosed monkeys, clouded leopards, pigtailed macaques, flying fox bats and the smallest rhinos on the planet. Activists feel that the new capital will hurt the species inhabiting the region. Kus kita dan tantangannya adalah uh, masa depan orang hutan yang semakin hari habitatnya semakin merosot. Itu tantangan terberatnya. Karena pertambahan, pertambahan penduduk, kemudian pembangunan infrastruktur itu pasti akan mengurangi satu, satu kawasan di mana keberadaan habitat juga. Indigenous tribal communities that rely entirely on the forest and its environment to survive have voiced their concerns over the development that they believe would directly impact their livelihood. Reportedly, more than 90% of the forest the tribe uses for hunting and foraging 
has already been lost to commercial activity since the 1970s. Orang tua kami dulu sebelum NKRI sudah ada di sini. Jadi kami berharap kepada pemerintah itu yang bisa memperhatikan kehidupan kami ke depan dan yang sekarang. Jangan sampai uh, kami ini kehidupan kami keteraman kami terganggu. Gitu. Peninggalan termasuk warisan dari nenek moyang kami dan itu yang merupakan aset kami yang terbesar buat kami karena kemana lagi karena tanah ini sumber kehidupan kami kalau itu tidak ada bagaimana kami mau bercocok tanam bagaimana kami mau while government has vowed to respect indigenous rights and compensate those affected by nusantara provincial officials said they would verify all land claims and only accept ownership proof Suku yang dimaksud itu mungkin terlalu terlalu jauh di dalam gitu sehingga tidak mendapat informasi. Gak apa-apa nanti kita akan tidak lanjuti selama itu eh, apa namanya sesuai dengan itu dan eh, tergantung nanti dia berasa di berada di ring mana. Nah kan kalau yang kemarin diputuskan kalau di kawasan KIPP atau ring satu itu kan memang tidak boleh sama sekali ada penduduk sehingga dia harus direlokasi. Tapi kalau dia di ring dua Jakarta has been wooing potential investors, including Saudi Arabia and China, with hefty tax breaks to cover the cost. The usefulness of the project is yet to be seen, as several questions remain on the lasting impact that the construction activity will leave on the people and the environment. There is the money available, anything is feasible in theory. The question should be, is it sustainable? And what will it do for Indonesia? in the long run. So is there a huge benefit to incurring this cost of moving the capital to um, mostly greenfield side? <laughs>